Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome to You Made Me, a game recently translated by Tico Translations, and it's a game by Charon. A game where not only your body breaks, but also your mind. This all happened one day. The light coming through the gaps in the curtains shone into my eyes. It was just another morning, and I was about to get out of bed when I noticed something strange. Ah, I know this feeling. I think I have a fever. I'm getting the shivers and my head feels foggy. It seems like I've caught a cold. But still, I have to go to work now. That's just the worst. I tried to force myself to sit up, but my body was still shaky and wouldn't listen to me. It's no use. I'll have to take a day off. I'll get scolded by my boss again, but I've got no other choice. I wasn't hungry, but I forced some convenience store bread into my mouth and took a cold medicine. I've called my company already. I should get some rest first. I'll go to the hospital around noon. Today's a weekday. I think about what to do later. As I was thinking about that, I closed my eyes. Big mistake. My consciousness slowly faded as I dozed off, probably because the cold medicine was taking effect. My name is Shitaro. Even though I look young in other people's eyes, I'm actually a working adult. I'm just your ordinary office worker who's living by himself. I don't have a girlfriend right now, but that doesn't mean I don't have any experience with love. Good job. Good for you, Shitaro. Who are you talking to right now? I could get a girlfriend if I wanted to, but I don't make enough money to think about marriage. Smart man. So I'm fine with the way things are for now. No matter how lazy I am, no one will bother me, and my parents won't scold me. I'm living the free life of a bachelor, and I like that. When I was small, I was quite the rebel. I even confessed to a girl I liked without hesitation. I felt like I had always been rash and carefree sort of person, but I think I became more mature as time went on. They say time changes people, but I guess it's really true. Right now a peaceful life is my number one priority. Peaceful. Underlined. No crazy people. Peaceful. No violence. Just keeping the peace. I heard someone's voice. From where? I feel like someone is calling out to me. But it must be my imagination. I live in a cheap apartment. The walls are thin, so I can sometimes hear voices coming from other rooms. It's so loud. What's with the voices today? Is it already noon? I feel like I've slept quite a bit. I should probably get up soon. Oh my god. A Mimi Kaki VTuber has broken into our room and is whispering into our ears, triggering us. When I opened my eyes, standing before me was an unfamiliar girl. She looked into my face with a worried expression.
Who is this girl? I don't know her name or her face. I've never even talked to her before. And yet she's speaking like we're close friends, as if it was the most natural thing in the world. We are so fucked. She has a nice face and looks pretty cute, but what she's saying is nonsense. Get out of my home, you pink-haired, magical-looking girl. Just what is going on? Who are you? How do you know me? Excellent questions. Hey, it's Usa-chan. Is this how we save? It sure is. Sorry about the mouse. I couldn't figure out how to shut it off. Did it save? Nice. Who are you? How did you get into my house? After saying that, she pointed to my closet. What the f- you're living in my closet? Is this like an Ann Wilkes type of thing? I think it is. We're gonna get some Moacus, Domacus, Momacus going on. What? Apparently, a very dangerous woman has her eye on me. Why, yes, I am. Okay, so if I was in this situation, I already have a couple comments. One, I would probably ride this out for a little bit because it's not every day that somebody makes me lunch and goes shopping for me and dotes on me. I would probably see where this is going. And you know, if it means that I have to try a couple new things, you try a couple new things. When You know what they say, when in Rome. After saying that, the girl named Yume and me happily headed for my kitchen. What should I do? There's a crazy woman in my house. Oh, here we go. We're already getting the choices. Boop. Okay. I'm riding this one out. This is a horse that I will be, that I will stay mounted on. She said she liked me, but isn't she one of those stalkers? She said she was living together with me, but she's actually living in my closet without permission. Wait, doesn't that mean that she has a duplicate key or something? Uh, yeah, probably Shin Kun. She Kun. It's been almost two years since I moved here, but I don't remember ever having a duplicate key made. Ah. My head hurts. What is this you made me going to do with me while I'm sick and out with a cold? Baby me. I could hear her humming happily from the kitchen, unaware of my anxiety. Baby me. 
What should I do now? Just stay, dude. I wonder if it's a good idea to let her be. I'll... Call the police! Case that's in this! Remain where I am. Okay, we are gonna have a quick little savey pie. Escape from here? I'm too sick. I couldn't possibly. Remain just where I am and and ride this out. We're, we're going for it. I've got a good feeling that nothing will go wrong even though it's a Charon game. Because this, I will for sure die if I call the police. So... Making a fuss won't help matters. Right now, I have a fever. My legs have been tied up and I can't move. Excuse me? That's a new piece of information. Let's laze around for a while longer. Yume Mi doesn't have any bad intentions. She seems genuine in nursing me. More importantly, she likes me, right? So there's no way she'll do anything strange to me. What's with all- How about you just dump every death flag imaginable, dude? I decided to wait for her to finish making lunch. She appeared with a smiling face. Apparently, she had already finished her own lunch. It's gonna have, like, her blood in it, isn't it? Yumemi smiled shyly and put out her tongue cutely. Are you trying to act like an idol? Today is the first time we've met, and she's a crazy girl, no matter how you look at it. Coming into someone's house without permission, and claiming that she's dating me. For some reason, I found you met me a little bit cute. She's worried about me. She's really trying her best to take care of me. When I think about it, I wonder if it's not so bad to be with her. Exactly. Nothing is going to go wrong. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. Indulging her, I closed my eyes. Warm steam hits my nose. I'm getting hungry. I've only eaten bread since morning. I'm so grateful that I can eat cooked food with lots of love. And it's normal food, and there's nothing wrong with it. It smells a bit fishy, with a hint of spice mixed in. Maybe it's seafood. I'm not very good with fish dishes, but it was made for me, so I felt rather happy. It's a seafood curry! Before she could say anything, I slowly opened my eyes. It's one of those cakes that looks like a foot. She's such an artist. Oh my god. I'd eat it. Come on. Eh? What is this? A human foot? It looks just like a foot. No way. It's gotta be fake, right? What? But there's no way. I mean, my right foot is here. Come to think of it, I can't feel my legs because they're tied up. No way, no way, no way! I hurriedly pulled back the covers. 
My right foot was gone. Without a doubt, that girl cooked my own and only right foot. My legs have been tied up for so long I didn't even feel the pain. I didn't even realize it until now. Oh wow. I tumbled out of my bed on the floor in terror. I, we would be dying. I can't walk like this. I can't call for help. But if I stay here any longer, I'll... Dragging both legs behind me, I managed to crawl forward using just my hands. You made me grab me roughly by my hair as I crawled on the floor and tried to escape. And with an irritated expression, she looked over me. You made me caught me roughly and wrapped my arms with wires. They're thin wires, so I might be able to break free with force. Shit, shit, I need to get this off me. And I thought as I struggled to loosen my restraints. Then I was racked with sharp pain. What? When I checked behind me in fear, I found countless sewing needles attached to the wire. She laughed off my desperate struggles. Don't I want to eat it? My hands are tied because of you, so what do you want me to do? Yumemi's inability to understand Japanese is making me frustrated. She happily began to cut my fragrantly flavored foot with a knife. Blood overflows and dribbles out as she cuts into the meat. Yumemi didn't pay it any mind and skillfully cut it into bite-sized pieces. Ew, I'm starting with the toe? No, 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 no! No, I don't want to eat it. It's such a cruel thing. I, I was just going about my day, you know? I just missed work because of my fever, that's all. Why did this strange woman do this to me? Why do I have to suffer through this? Why? The frustration and irrationality of it make me cry. No one will wipe away the tears that fell from my eyes. Even though I tried to keep my mouth shut, the meat was forced into my mouth. The taste of my own flesh and blood spread throughout my mouth. You know, I have to say, even though we were force-fed our own foot and we probably bled out to death from some sort of creepy stalker psychopath, at least she said she loved us. Okay, this time, I'm thinking, let's call the police. I mean, that's not gonna work, but I don't know, maybe it'll work. Yes, I should call the police as soon as possible. 
No matter how I think about it, she's suspicious, and who knows what'll happen if I let her be. The best thing to do in this situation is to keep calm and let the police handle it. No, probably not. Thinking that, I reached for my smartphone that was lying on my bedside table. Huh? I can't find my smartphone. I'm pretty sure I put it here right before I fell asleep. I searched under my pillow, but I couldn't find anything. It's strange. Don't tell me that, girl. I had a bad feeling about this. As I hurriedly glanced at the floor. I oh, found it. My smartphone had fallen to the floor, it seems. The charging cable was still connected. I'm panicking, so it's hard to think rationally. But I can't help it. There's a criminal in my house. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And I quickly picked it up and aligned my finger with the fingerprint sensor. Shit, I've never had a problem with unlocking my phone before. My hands were soaked in sweat right now, so maybe that's the problem. And I had no choice but to enter in the passcode. And I entered in my birthday as usual, but it didn't unlock. Did I make a mistake? Alright, let's calm down and try it again. No, it still doesn't work. What's going on? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is all her doing. Oh no, my head feels like it's boiling. I've got to cool down and chill out. Ah, that's right. I can use the emergency call feature in a situation like this. If I don't use it now, then when? I hurriedly pressed the emergency button and brought up the number pad. Or the number for the police was... I'm calling the police to report a cutie in my house. Uh-uh. Huh? Just when did she get over here? My pants became damp as my strength gave out. Ew, gross. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I was struck by embarrassment and fear. My consciousness faded into darkness. Wait. Wait a minute. So the, f the second bad end is she chopped off our foot, fed it to us, and we probably bled out and died. This bad end is all we did was piss ourselves in the bed and she's like, and she teased us? Dude, that's, those, some people, that's like a fetish. Escape from here. Get the hell out of Dodge, dude. Yes, I've got to get out of here as soon as possible. I'll get out of the house and then ask my neighbors for help. Because if I stay here like this... I don't know what that woman will do to me. Fearing for my safety, I decided to run away before she could find me. Fortunately, my hands were free, so I was able to untie myself and get out of bed. Is she just... What is she cooking right now if not my foot? Is she cooking something else? We've entered a different timeline. Maybe she's loving in this one. Get back in there, dude. You may me continue to cook in the kitchen while humming in a good mood. Uh-huh. Good, looks like she hasn't noticed me yet. Doubt it. I didn't bother to change my clothes. Safety first, after all. Did you comb your hair? I put my shoes on my shoes and confirmed the door was unlocked. Then I put my hand on the doorknob. 
Suddenly, sharp pain ran through my fingers like a paper cut. Red droplets of blood pooled on my hand. Uh, huh? Looking more carefully, I found thin wires draped around the doorknob. The wires have been roughly cut off so to ensnare the hand of anyone who tries to touch them. No matter how I look at it, this was done on purpose, as if to say, don't get out of here. Why did this happen? Is it that girl's doing? Would she do something like this? That pretty girl doing something like this? You're kidding me! I was such a fool I didn't notice because I was in such a hurry and fell right into her trap. And I hear a voice from behind me. And I turned around and saw her standing there. Her smile unchanged. She spoke in a kind voice, but the expression on her face gave me the creeps. I can't understand what she's thinking at all. What should I do to escape her clutches? Well, I, now I kind of want to know what it is. Um... I don't think Japanese will get through to her anymore. My words didn't reach you, Mamie. I've got to lay it out straight. Uh. Oh my goodness! All of the, all of the whatever. You're not my girlfriend. With her mouth hanging open, you Mamie froze for a moment. Bang. There was a piercing sound, and blood suddenly poured out from the left side of Yumemi's chest. With a thud, Yumemi fell to the floor. I was still processing what had happened when an armed man appeared in front of me. Hey, you. Are you unhurt? Ah, I noticed that people dressed like the JSDF were coming in one after another through the window. Who? What the hell is the JSDF? Is that the Japanese FBI? Is she an international break into people's houses of VTuber and Mimikaki them to death? That girl was committing serial murders around here. We just received the permission to shoot and kill. Good job. I see. Narahudu. I knew it. You, Mimi, was a dangerous person! I like how we immediately jumped to the past tense because she was shot in the chest. I had apparently just been caught up in an incident. My tense body loosened up and I slumped to the floor. Ah, I see. I'm glad it's over.
bunch of people. You should have gotten help, like, I don't know if that was supposed to be a plot at the very end to make me pity you. Uh, it didn't work, you're a freak. Sorry. No empathy at all. So we unlocked all of the, all of the whatevers. Oh my god. Jeez, who does that? Dude. I mean, even in the book Misery, which I felt like this game was massively inspired by. Well, maybe. I don't know, there was a lot of differences. If he, if he had been a writer, that would have been an obvious nod to the book Misery with Ann Wilkes, but... Taking care of people who are sick. He, the tying up the legs thing kind of reminds me of that, but... <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so I guess that's gonna be it for You May Me. It looks like there are a number of other Charon games that Tico TL has translated, so I'll be looking into those. Um, if you guys have got anything else for me to look at in terms of Let's Plays, go ahead and recommend them now. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.